Hey everyone, welcome back to Pro Dealer Secrets. Today, we are in episode six of a 10 part series of 10 ways to sell 10 more cars this month. <clears throat> Today we're gonna to talk about recording your phone calls and how to disconnect your cell phone from your business. Um, for me, I struggled with this for years actually, uh, for about five, five years or so, six years probably out of seven or eight that I've been a dealer. I, uh, you know, I was always on my phone, always you know, taking every phone call, taking every text message, every Facebook message, every messenger message. And uh, you know, I was the one that replied to everybody. And my wife, it drove my wife crazy, and I just couldn't see because you know my rationale for this was, but you know, I, I can't miss a deal because you know I can't lose money and I can't you know miss a deal, and you know we're trying to save for our future and this and that, and I'm trying to build a business, all you know all valid. And if you're a single guy, then no problem. I'm you know it's like you have that time probably no problem. But being married, it really did put a strain on our relationship. And especially now that we've had a kid for the past two years, um, I have completely learned to shut the phone off when I go home. And, uh, you know, well, actually, now that I've sold my business, I don't get anything from anybody. But, you know, when I own the business, I, uh, I didn't answer or hear from anybody after 6 o'clock after we closed. <clears throat> and here's a little tidbit. I'm just going to throw this in for you. You know, customers that cannot meet within your open hours are almost always bullshitters like they are almost never serious if you track this we tracked this and you know meeting people after hours or replying to people after hours or meeting people like you know on a sunday if we're closed um they are never serious like one out of ten maybe they're they're a waste of time like they're always time wasters. So once I really realized that, I stopped meeting anybody after hours. And no test drives after 5.45 p.m. So we close at six, we stop all test drives at 5.45 and no, we have, we have not lost a single sale from this. Like doing this for over a year now, we have not lost a single sale. I'm telling you right now. But um, it just, it brings in, it, it gives you your sanity back because we have people that show up and go for a test drive at 550, come back at 620. And I, you know, I'm supposed to be home and I just be insanely mad. So just for my own sanity, I stopped doing that. And, uh, you know, if, it's kind of a scary thing to do, but try it. And I guarantee you that you will feel better. <clears throat> but getting back on track, um, kind of just, you know, kind of the, the, the principle I'm working off of is that you must create digital boundaries and boundaries from your business or else you'll go insane. Like you don't want your business to follow you home so much. <clears throat> At least I didn't. But a lot of you are scared to do this. And I'm just telling you, it's like, it's completely okay. Like nothing happens. Nothing goes wrong. People that are mad that you won't text them or call them back in the evenings or on Sundays, like they are not serious people. These are low quality people. Like you're good customers. They show up during your open hours. They show up on the right day. They, they're they not mad that you don't reply when you're not working. Like I'm just telling you, don't worry about it. So getting back to our phone call thing, you need to record your phone calls and you need to disconnect your cell phone from your business. So all calls should be recorded incoming and outgoing and it's not as hard as you think it is. There is a very simple app and service that does this and you don't even have to change your phone number. But when you record your phone calls, you know, this will tell you if your employees are using the scripts that you require and where you are likely missing out on potential sales. So for me, you know, I was kind of disappointed to learn how many phone calls went to voicemail that were never returned when I started doing this. And most business owners, they, they, you know, they'll suffer initial shock when they hear their phone recordings because you'll sit there and you're like, oh my gosh, my business sucks. Like, you know, maybe half the phone calls aren't even being answered. And then when they are answered, your salesperson is like, yeah, how can I help you? And it's like, 
you, you're blown away that this person can even think that this is okay. So not only this, it will cover your butt in any potential lawsuit or dispute because you know if they said something on the phone, but they don't think they said it in a lawsuit or whatever. I mean, you've got evidence there to cover your butt. Now you want to check your local laws. Um, hey, let me let me add this here. Check your local recording laws because in Oklahoma, only one party has to have knowledge of the recording, but you know different states are different. So the service that I used for this is called call rail and you know if your if your local laws require notifications to the customer you know call rail has a feature that you know you can put before when a customer calls before it rings they can it can say a message you know it can say hey this call may be recorded from for quality purposes you know we actually used to put that um thanks for calling ocean auto sales we're open nine to six we offer a free car fax for every car and free warranty for every car and then it starts ringing so that way we can actually give every single customer a consistent message but uh, if you go to call rail, you know, they also, they will provide you a phone number so that, you know, and they'll provide multiple, like a lot of, a lot of online marketers and businesses use this service because it'll provide multiple phone numbers that you can use in different sources. You know, we just use one, but you know, when people call the main phone number, it'll then forward to whatever phone numbers that we want it to. And then it'll, it'll record those calls. It'll store those calls. And there's even an app where you can listen to the calls and you can see which ones weren't answered and more but another important part which is going to be part seven is these numbers can receive text messages so you can have an app on your phone where you get text messages and that way you can text your customers call them all that stuff but remember i mean you have to create digital boundaries because it'll just make you go insane and what's great is you can forward your existing number to the number that call rail signs you so let's give you a little tour of this app, um, callrail.com. They have a little automotive section, which I've never, um, I've never looked into. They just launched it, but I don't think it's really much different than the regular one. So CallRail is, you know, they'll, they, they target marketers and people that are trying to track everything they do online. So it's a little, almost nobody knows about this, especially in the dealership industry, because they all use, you know, the, the ones that everybody knows about, but they're not great. Like they're not good at all. So here I'm going to give you a quick tour of the, um, the services they offer, which is a lot. You know, they do a bunch of different call tracking, you know, number. They You can do local and toll free, I think, but I always did it pretty simple. I'll show you what we have. And it costs like a hundred bucks a month or so, but it's so worth it. So here's a log of all of our phone calls. You can listen to the recordings just like this. Ocean Auto Service, Chris. Chris, my name is Shanra, calling from Wichita, Kansas. Uh, yes, sir. Do you still have that Nissan Armada? The Armada, do you still have it available? Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, the price is going for 4005 Correct. So, yeah, just like that, you can listen to all your phone calls. Uh, you can go through, you can see you know, how long it was, if they answered, all this different stuff. Um, and then... You can also, they have a lead center where you can, um, and this is this is your app also. So if you download the app, it'll have this all this stuff to you. And you can see text messages from, you know, you see we get a lot of text messages, just uh, four yesterday from four different people. So if your phone number does not have the ability to get text messages, you are missing out on this many customers a lot. So just like that, you know, boom. And then uh, let's see here. So our phone number for this is uh, 918-417-1119. And it's just a, a number that CallRail assigned to us. And we, uh, you know, we use it. And that's our main dealership number on everything. But then what's cool is we go to tracking and then, you know, that's our tracking number. That's our main phone number right there. You know, we can edit it under call flow. So when somebody calls, you know, it records the phone calls and then, you know, it'll tell you if it, you know, needs to notify, which we don't know, Oklahoma. So this is our message when people call us 
It, it says it just like this. Thanks for calling Ocean Auto Sales. This call may be recorded for quality assurance. So that's what we chose to do, but you can also upload a recording if you want to record your own, that's fine. And then these are the two phone numbers that it currently rings to. You, know, you can have one or two, or you can change it, or you can have three. And I think, I think you can have it, uh, it'll ring to all of the phone numbers at once. So whoever answers it, but you can also you know route it to the previous caller that the number answered last time. So like if a salesperson answered a lead, you know next time it'll just go directly to that salesperson. And that they don't answer in 30 seconds, you know, we have this voicemail message. You know, again, it's just a automated thing, but you can also upload your own recording. And that's it. That's our phone system. It's awesome. Um, way better than anything we found out there. And it makes it very easy. And not only that, we can get text messages to it, you know, call recording. And then, you know, when you have the app on your phone, let me see if I can find a picture of it real quick. I don't have it on my phone anymore, but. Um, yeah, here it is. It's a very good app. Uh, you can't really see it that well. Okay, here we go. So it'll have like a list of all the phone numbers, the information. You can listen to the recording. And then, um, you know, all the different call details there, their phone number. You know, like I said here, you can click the recording, listen to it. And then if you want to do an outbound call, like if you want to call the customer back, you can record the outbound call as well. And what's cool is when you make the outbound call, it'll show as if you're calling from the dealership number instead of your personal number. And then you can text from the app as well. Um, just like this. Oh, no, that's a job. Okay. But yeah, it's like the same. You know, have a bunch of text messages and you can reply to them and all that stuff. So really great app. I highly recommend it. Um, I've, I've tried Grasshopper and all these other phone systems and everything. They're just, they're difficult to set up. You know, they, they're kind of annoying. Well, I just found this one so easy, like so headache free that, you know, why wouldn't I just use the best option that, you know, a ton of multi-millionaire online marketers use, honestly. Uh, you can have multiple companies set up. So under, you know, we have Ocean Auto Sales, you could have more. Um, and then you can also get multiple phone numbers. So, you know, like I said, we currently have this one We've had other phone numbers in the past that I've used for other businesses and other purposes. You see, just like this. Um, and if you want to get a new phone number, it's very easy. Let's see. I think, yeah, here we go. So you just go to tracking. Yeah, we can create a phone number. Where are we going to use it? We'll use it offline. So the number name, it might be, you know, like only on our Facebook page. And then we forward them to, you know, whatever phone number. So then you can choose a phone number. You know, there's all these different phone numbers. And then you can do toll-free numbers, but you know, they charge you $2 per month. That's fine. Or you can use different area codes if you want. So like, let's say this area code, you can do that. So it's, really, it's super easy. Then you just go through, you know, you do the number features, you set it up, and then boom, you're up, you're up and running in like a minute. It's awesome. So that is uh, today's video. You know, this is a, an amazing app that I think is going to benefit your business. And especially if you have multiple businesses, you know, another great use for this is real estate. You know, if you're putting out those little signs or different, you know, advertising in different areas, you know, it's awesome for tracking where calls are coming from. Because if you have a bunch of different phone numbers, you can assign each phone number to a different task or a different website or a different area. And you can know exactly, you know, where your leads are coming from. And remember... You must create digital boundaries that don't follow you home or you will go insane. I was going insane and my life has dramatically improved since I disconnected myself from the business because what it allowed me to do is I took my cell phone number off of all company advertising, material, website, stuff like that and I just put the call reel number up and then people don't have my cell phone number anymore. They can't get a hold of me directly if I don't want them to and uh, it creates a separation while also not losing any features, you know, calling, texting, recording, all that stuff. Um, very useful. So until next time, we'll be uh, talking about part seven next. And uh, this is Anthony with Pro Dealer Secrets, and I will see you on the next one.